Okay, g'day all. Welcome to another video. Um, so I've been pretty busy. I've been writing some uh, some ebooks on Java and Scala, and uh, I'll let you know when they're ready. And I've also been recording a few songs. So if you want to have a listen to me singing, or at least trying to sing, uh, I'll put some links in the video description and possibly up here on the screen somewhere if I can figure out how to wrangle YouTube. Uh, yeah, have a listen to all oh, what's a Creole belt now to tune. But today. Uh, we're going to continue with uh, AES and look at the code to the matrix multiplication in mixed columns. Alrighty, what we've got to talk about first of all is the other matrix. So we spoke uh, last time about dot products and matrix multiplication in general and with Galois fields. Today we've got to talk about the other matrix. So we're multiplying our state by this matrix just here. Yeah, so you can find this on the AES page of Wikipedia. Uh, it's pretty simple, really. So these are all Galois fields. Once again, this AES is just Galois field crazy. Um, the two just here is this in binary. That's the one and that's the three. And uh, it's just, it's a little pattern here. So they've got two, three, one, one. Then they just shift it to the right each um, row. Yeah, fair enough. So this is the other matrix that we're multiplying. My dishwasher is finished. Well, thank you, dishwasher. Um, alrighty, so long story short, we're multiplying our state by this special special matrix. So this is the state over here, little 4 by 4 matrix. And we've got to reduce our answers, uh, modulo this, just here. And uh, yeah, we're laughing. So let's just move on. Um, what we looked at last time was uh, the fact that Actually, in this matrix just here, it's comprised entirely of uh, twos, threes, and ones. So what we can do is just make lookup tables for the multiplication of every possible byte in our state. Uh, multiplied by two will be one lookup table, and the other lookup table would be multiplied by three. Uh, multiplication by one just ends up being the same. Yeah, so A multiplied by one is just A again. And if you want to get the lookup tables, they're available from this page just here on Wikipedia, the Rindale Mixed Columns page. And you'll also find the reverse lookup tables. Yeah, so we'll have a, a bit of a look at decrypting eventually. Yeah, but basically we can pre-compute the uh, multiplications by 2 and 3 and save ourselves a lot of time. And here's a bit of an example of the code that we're about to look at, a pictorial example. Um, matrix multiplication. So what we got to do is, uh, if we want to figure out this top right, that's not the right. <laughs> if we want to figure out this top left box just here, uh, what we want to do is get the dot product of the first column in the left matrix and the elements in the first row of the right matrix. Yeah. So W multiplied by two plus H multiplied by three. That's these two. Uh, plus the A multiplied by one plus T multiplied by one. And just remember, this is Galois field multiplication, and it's Galois field addition too. So the addition actually becomes XOR. And the multiplication, like we said before, is going to be a lookup. And the code is going to look something like this. Um, so to compute this uh, first element just here, uh, the W is state 0. We're going to look that up in mul2, since we're multiplying it by 2. And state number one, the H just here. Uh, we have to multiply by three to get this uh, little Galois field dot product. So that's why we look it up in the mul3 lookup table. Yeah, so these, these lookup tables are just little arrays, 1D arrays. And finally, the A and the T are going to be multiplied by one, but it just ends up being A and T again. So we can just save those to our state. What you got to be careful of is that you can't overwrite the state while you go. So we couldn't say um, state 0 equals and then all of this because we need state 0 to be whatever it was uh, when we compute the other cells of the answer. Now, yeah, So you've got to save it to a temporary array, otherwise you'll overwrite the state and you'll look silly in front of your peers. Uh, maybe just another example. So if we were to calculate this uh, cell just here, uh, what we'd be doing is getting the dot product of this, 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 this and that, that's the uh, column that that cell is uh, kind of corresponds to from the first matrix. And the row would be these ones. 
Yeah, so we'll get A multiplied by 1 plus space multiplied by 1 plus C multiplied by 2 plus R multiplied by 3. And that'll give us that result just there. So that's all we're really doing. And we're saving each of those 16 little uh, dot products to a temporary array and then copying it to the state. And this is what the code looks like just here for the temporary array. So um, I'll actually put this into my program at the end. I think I'll do it now. Yeah, I'll do it now. Um, but I'll also put this in the video description. Yeah, so this is actually the code for all 16 dot products. Yeah, I want to make sure that this is correct in the video description. So if you happen to find any mistakes in here, I mean, this is this is fiddly stuff, you know. Uh, if you find any mistakes, leave a comment and I'll fix it up. So hopefully the um, code in the video description will be correct. Anyway, let's just copy this over to our uh, program that we were working on. So this is the debugging, settle down. Uh, this is the code that we were working on before. If we just scroll down, there's the MOL2 table. Uh, MOL3, like I said, you can get all of those from um, the Rindale Mix Columns page on Wikipedia. Shift rows, blah, blah, blah. What we want is mix columns. Okay, so the first thing that we've got to do is uh, mix columns actually takes our state. So unsigned char star state as input and unsigned char 16. Okay, so we better uh, create that temporary array. So each, each of these just here is a little dot product. And once we're done with our temporary array, what we've got to remember to do is copy it over to the state. So uh, I plus plus state I equals temp I. And we don't have to return anything because that's actually going to, you know, it's going to change the state. And that, my friends, is the mix columns step. Fiddly, fiddly stuff. But it's interesting. It's very, very interesting. Now, our program doesn't output anything, so I won't bother running it. Um, let's just move down. Alrighty, so links to the relevant Wikipedia pages are going to be in the video description. And I'll also include the code from the previous slide, like I said, in the description. So you should probably copy and paste this code. I mean, you could type it out if you want, but it's it's just fiddly. You know, you'll just probably make mistakes, much like I did 500 million times. Um, I've got a Patreon. If you want to support what I'm doing here, head over to Patreon. And I've also got a Facebook. So if you just want to, if you just want to say hello... Uh, pop over to Facebook and say good day. I love that. And thank you very much for watching. I want you to have a good day. Adios.